Hi, I'm going to show you how to make this two-layered puff flower and I used an H hook and across it's only a few inches and you can use different types of hooks or yarn um, depending on how big you would like it and I use medium worsted yarn. The written pattern is listed down below. Okay, so let's get started. Create a slip knot onto your hook and chain five. Slip stitch in that beginning chain to create a ring. Chain one, work 12 single crochet in the ring. Slip stitch in the beginning, single crochet to finish for this round. Chain one, single crochet in each back loop around. Continue until you get to the beginning. Slip stitch in that beginning single crochet to finish this round. Chain one. Go back to round one. and you're going to single crochet in that back loop. And then chain two. And then you're going to work in the next back loop five treble crochet together, so yarn over twice in that back loop right there. So yarn over twice, insert your hook, grab the yarn, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, leave two loops on the hook, yarn over twice, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, Leave your loops on the hook three and then yarn over twice. Insert your hook in the same stitch. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then just repeat for that last treble. So you have all of those on your hook. You're going to do a yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook to complete your five treble together. It's going to look like this for the first petal and then you're going to chain three and then single crochet 
in that next back loop. Chain two. And then work your five treble crochet together. Yarn over twice and in the next back loop you're going to work five treble crochet together again. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Then yarn over twice, insert your hook in the same stitch, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, leave the loops on the hook and then repeat for five total treble crochet together. Yarn over, pull through all loops on the hook. You have your next petal, chain three, and then repeat. In the next back loop, you're going to single crochet, chain two, treble crochet five together in the next back loop again five treble crochet together Yarn over and pull through all loops, chain three, and then repeat. And that's how you do the petals around, complete until you have all of your petals. So single crochet into the next stitch. You'll have six petals all together. And then chain two. And then in the next, you'll do your five treble crochet together in the next petal. Yarn over, pull through all loops on the hook, and then chain three again, and single crochet in the next stitch, and just keep repeating until you have six petals all together. Okay, now that you have all of your petals, you're going to slip stitch in that beginning on top of that chain two slip stitch. And then you're going to do another round of petals, but underneath, you can stop here or you can finish and do more petals underneath to make it two layers. So chain one, and then behind the petals in the next stitch underneath you're going to single crochet and then you're going to chain two 
and then in the next stitch you're going to work five treble crochet together in the next stitch just like before but it's underneath behind it so yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two leave two loops on the hook yarn over twice yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two and just repeat until you have five all together Okay, now yarn over, pull through all loops, chain three, and then you're going to go to the next stitch underneath and single crochet, and then chain two, and then work another five treble crochet into the next stitch underneath, and work your five treble crochet together next petal and you're going to work six petals just like before but it's just behind the other petals and you'll work that all the way to the beginning Okay, you're just going to repeat that until the beginning and have six petals underneath all together to give it a two layered three dimensional puff petaled flower look to it. Okay, now that you're back at the beginning, you'll have your chain three on top and then you'll go to your chain two in the beginning petal and slip stitch. And now you'll take chain one and pull through and you'll take your yarn needle, weave in your end and your flower is complete. The written pattern is listed down below if you need it. Okay, well, it's all finished now, so thank you for watching and please subscribe.